West. Women, they come through and you gotta have me hooked, dog. Hey! If I had to pick between being a gangster and a gentleman, my pick would be the latter. Get out your comfort zone, bro. Lighten up, live a little. Hello, my name is Joshua Jean-Baptiste. I am a writer and an actor from Miami, Florida. I've worked in a lot of collaborative settings. I had the fortune of producing a TV series and I wrote it with two of my greatest friends and we got a chance to learn from each other. And I have been in that setting and how to navigate it, I think it's a bit of an ebb and flow. For the most part, it's always finding that middle ground, which comes with a lot of asking questions, a lot of deliberating, a lot of not doing anything and a lot of frustration. But ultimately, if you're rooted in like, this is for the project, then I think you can get whatever outcome that you think you can. A project that really speaks to me personally, quite literally, is Grown, was loosely based off of my life. It stemmed from me moving out of my mother's house and with my creative partner, uh, Edson Jean. I went ahead and sat down and wrote a little web series and it kind of snowballed from there. We wanted to create work in Miami that spoke to an authentic voice. A story about me being this guy that doesn't know how to get girls into a story about fatherlessness and teaching men how to be men when they themselves haven't been raised by a father. It also gave the opportunity of exploring Haitian culture, which is something that's very dear to me, as well as just showing the boundaries of this idea of manhood and like how misogyny can really poison a lot of relationships uh, between men and men and also men and women. Not wait on the industry to validate you. You add your own validation and a lot of what I've seen, especially in Hollywood, is that they always jump on to what's hot, but how do you get hot? You make yourself hot. So when you're working on your content, you're doing your thing, people are gonna be like, oh man, you should probably appeal to like, you know, this network or what have you. But once you start carving your own lane and you noodle yourself into getting attention, the industry is gonna be all over you. Oh, how'd you, how'd you do it? And it's like, cause y'all wasn't opening any doors. I had to do it myself. Make your stuff, make it. If you, if you have no filmmaking capacity, Find someone on the internet that is down to do it. Use your network, have your friend hold that boom mic. But somebody out there wants to make a movie, but it takes that grit and that drive to just trying to make it happen. Ask yourself, how could I make this happen? Instead of giving yourself reasons on why you can't. The reason I started writing was because I saw a incredibly awful performance at a theater. They paid this man for this garbage. I realized that there are people that are willing to give you money for ideas that are apparently half baked. Out of that frustration, I got a bunch of writing books. I had did a playwriting class in college. I went to New World School of the Arts, shout out to New World. I ended up submitting to that same theater for a, the grant. I got the grant and then I produced my first full play. After going through that process and seeing, I had the ability to bring people together to tell a story that was fun, entertaining, find what my voice is and what I wanna say. The awesome thing about writing is it's accessible to everyone. And I think just like working out, the more you do it, the better you can get. So uh, as far as like going the route of just experience, I feel like I came in there with an ignorance that I think helped me because I didn't know what my limit wasn't. I had the opportunity to find my own way and get into my own system. I think not knowing where the lines are helps because you can draw outside the lines or in this case right outside the lines and it's given me the, the ability to push the boundaries without even knowing what the boundaries were. The revision process, how many drafts do I go through? It's case by case on the project. I would probably say two or three normally because the work that I've been fortunate to work on, it's been like, hey, we gotta do this now, let's go. So there hasn't really been a lot of process for like the back and forth, but normally the, the most amount of script drafts I've gone through are five drafts. The least amount is like three normally. I've never written a script and be like, all right, this is good to go. No, I've never done that. The project that I worked on back in Miami is called Grown and it was for Complex Network. We went through a huge phase of production notes. I grew more as a writer going through the production process because it made me realize that everything you put in that page, people are going to take that seriously. There was one time I didn't really clarify, but I had a line in the action line that said, my character threw a wrench at this other character's plan. And someone from the art department was like, hey, so what kind of wrench do you need for this? And I'm like, what? Granted, they might've missed the point. So it changes a lot based off of the needs in production. Just like how I started writing, I started with a grant. There are far more opportunities than people think. Learn about the criteria and just submit that script. Don't feel like you need to be ready. Just do it. Cause the worst thing that could happen from you uh, submitting to a contest or a fellowship is that you have a body of work that you wrote. But there are a lot of grants out there. A lot of community organizations are starving for content. You like this girl? I do. She's electric. Don't think, don't analyze.
mind, just go. First and foremost, to write every day. Second, read obviously as much as you can. Think about content, what themes, what books really excite you and make you feel alive. That way you can start to lean in towards your taste. Don't be afraid to copy things that inspire you and just make your own version of it. Also be open to receiving criticism. And lastly, apply to that program. Get yourself a deadline, even if you feel like you're not qualified. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Stay Creative. I got to sit down with a series writer and ask him some questions about how he got started, what keeps him motivated and creative. And it was really fun to pick his brain about his writing process and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate all the support that my small channel has been getting and I hope that it will continue to grow and gain more and more support every day. As you're getting familiar with the Stay Creative series, I'll be sharing other projects with you guys really soon and I'm so excited to show you what I've been working on. Till next time, stay creative.